of them. But Joe and the Juice finally added candles to their bags. So I obviously got Joe and the Juice for lunch. Now I'm looking for somewhere nice and quiet to sit and eat it because Joe and the Juice was a little too busy for me. And since it's my lunch break, as you guys know, I need to decompress from all the small talking that I just did at work. So I'm gonna try this little place with um, like little Brazilian truffles that you they give you one with each coffee you buy. And I'm obsessed with the coconut one, so I'm gonna get a coffee and hopefully sit there and eat and decompress. What? Somebody's throwing out this couch. I'm insane. So this is it. Brigadero. <laughs> so I was definitely wrong thinking this place would not be crowded on a um, weekend. So that's why I'm outside with my lunch and my coffee. But the lady was so sweet. I told her I have to get her name because I see her every day. She's like the sweetest person ever. I told her I wanted to try something different. So I got the um, chocolate. The chocolate um, truffle. But she knows I always get the coconut and you only get one free with your coffee and she gave me the coconut too. Things like that make my day, especially when I'm kind of having a tough day today because, you know, I confronted a superior about just some things that I thought were an injustice to me and of course that's scary. That's always scary to confront somebody who you're, you're kind of at their mercy when it comes to your own livelihood. But I actually think if that person is a strong person, that they'll actually have more respect for you when you do defend yourself. So I'm hoping that's going to be the case, but I can't be sure. I want to get to know Daggy. Um, it's too early to tell right now. I'm still feeling the wrath of it, but hopefully in the end, it works out for my benefit. If not, then I need to make a decision on what I need to do. Who the fuck is throwing away this couch? Are they crazy? <laughs> like, if I lived here, I would walk away with it right now. But I'm trying to vlog right now from this whatever. I just like how discreet it is. Like, discreet. people just, like, okay, like, <laughs> People don't stare at you as much when you're holding a phone in front of your right. face. Like they just think that maybe you're on FaceTime or maybe you're just taking a selfie. Maybe you're on Snapchat. But when you have a camera, they're like, "What the fuck is she doing?" So let's vlog yeah, since I happen to be vlogging today, so, anyway. So where are we going? Should we go to La Pain? Okay. Right, let's go there. This is lit! It's like, no, it, the real test is when it gets on the computer. I think I would always need a camera to be my primary It's okay, we, we can share our stuff. Goodbye, Tyrell. <laughs> we need like a catchphrase for you, like, go home, Roger! I mean, hey, Roger's still <laughs> one in the end. Did so. he? I don't think I made it that far in the series. Yeah, he did. So you guys know how I feel about tote bags. So I've always wanted the straw one from Le Pain. Mm -hmm. So we're about to get it right now. So excited! How much are the tote bags? How much are the tote bags? By the way, their avocado toast is bomb. Remember when I had it? You love, you love anything with avocado. Yes, that means I'm the best judge of the avocado toast. For me. Okay, so I came to the pain. I got the tote bag that I wanted and I'm about to switch into it. Or maybe not. Maybe I don't want it to get wet. Because it's a rainy day here in Soho. So I'm in the mall right now. I don't know if you guys know this. All the stores in the Oculus in Brookfield are basically copies of everything that's in Soho. So there is Sam Edelman, there's Kate Spade, there's Cole Hahn, there's Vince Camuto. So 
I'm going in. I'm asking about their conversion rates. Oh. Because I want to know if it's more beneficial to work here in the mall than it is to work in Soho. So I just went into John Barbados and he was bragging about being the number two store in the country. So that was impressive until I found out that Soho was the number one store in the country. So we'll see how this fluctuates in the upcoming months. But I'm at the top of the world. I never come up here because I'm not a fucking tourist. I'm one of the people just commuting through here. How cool is this? So... I just got home and I don't know if y'all could tell, but King cut off all of Marilyn's hair on the side. So obviously her mom is crying, but I kind of think it's cute that you know she's just rocking the side thing going on here. Like you're just a rock star, man, man. You look cute. Give me a kiss. That my girl. Say, say cheese. You ready to go? You feel like a rock star? Yeah, let's go. One thing I hate about opening shifts is being out here with the Wall Street 9 to fivers. They're just so fucking boring. Good morning, how are you? Morning, I'm good. What does your banana? Why not? The love is beautiful. Look, this is your podcast. Your banana, banana. See you. See you. Every morning. Every morning, this guy with the fucking fruit. He usually gives me a banana, but they weren't very ripe today, so that's no good. Enough. Another little lunch spot here on Prince Street. I'm failing at not eating out, guys. I suck at this rule I just gave myself. Uh, I just ended up with bird bath again. This time I just went with a salad that's mixed with some like tomatoes and stuff because I've been being so naughty with my diet. It's like as soon as I was told that I couldn't have certain things, I needed them more. That's just the type of personality I have. Well, I thought I'm gonna go easy today. I'm not gonna go so hard. I did have a huge veggie burger and fries last night, so I need to relax. So I just went with this kale and tomato salad that I'm hoping is good. Cause I was really tempted to get the pumpkin seed burger again, but I refrained. So this better live up to the hype reading a magazine that I picked up from the magazine store. You guys have seen it before. This one's called Dysfunction. You guys know I've really been into magazines recently because I like to draw a lot of inspiration from them, especially for like fashion type videos. It's just good to look through fashion magazines. And I really am enjoying this one because so much of the trends right now are focusing on kind of minimalism and I'm pretty much a maximist. So I like that this magazine is very much cluttered and you know, it's just the type of life I live. I like to collect things, I collect memories or things that mean something to me. So this magazine is kind of right up my alley. It happens to be beautiful outside. I feel like um, What is it, like 70s? It's like 80. Is it like 80? Because I feel like 80 I will be a little hot. Nah, it's 80 but it's got to breathe. All right, well. It's 80 with a breeze. So we're gonna go find somewhere with a happy hour. I just came across the street to Tierra's job. I was at Verlaine. I had those lychee martinis that have the lychee at the end that just kind of makes you want to finish the drink because I'm pretty bad at that. And then I had some asparagus with some sauce because it was good the waiter recommended it to me but i love tiara's view of the city like this is her work this is her job y'all and obviously she wants to leave so we're gonna find somewhere else to turn up but look at my boo y'all always ready <laughs> up. yeah let's just finish this off right quick <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
is the party with us. We are the fucking party. We are the fucking party. We are the party. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna do some champagne. Um, yeah, that's it. Like, turn up a little bit. I'm already a little lit because I already had two martinis. <laughs> and Tierra is just already always ready to get her. <laughs> Guys, this is what Tierra sees every night as she leaves work. Like. Is her job real? Like, what? Questions like that scare me. About <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm a bit funny. No. <laughs> You're doing so good of a like, job. No one, who, who, who does this for work? Exactly. I mean, you should be lucky. Let's make sure nobody sees this. I don't know who follows you, but like, I come in. biggest worry is what I'm gonna eat for lunch. And like, that's it. It must be fucking nice. Okay. <laughs> 